Yo, what is good, everybody? This is Mr. Composition, the MC that writes fiction. And right now, this is another episode of The Composition. And this particular episode is What is Your Kung Fu? And a couple of ways to find peace in or during the unknown, you know, unknown times as far as right now. Now, the reason I bring this particular topic up is because um, one of the things I do to find peace is to try to establish some balance, you know, and the word Kung Fu is like the same thing for gong i'm reading this um the central guide the energy healing homeboy amari let me borrow it a while ago and um it is by dr michael andron and ben andron and so uh current section here is uh energy healing in real life chapter five and you know i've heard of Qigong before there's another book the uh urban monk that I have and it talked a lot about this as well um, but in this particular part of the book it was saying that Kung Fu the same word uh, gong means hard work and practice or discipline so Kung Fu doesn't necessarily refer to a martial arts system a master calligrapher painter or flower arranger could be said to be doing kung fu now the main thing that i want to take into consideration is just what it says as far as the meaning of it means hard work and practice or discipline and so it makes me really really um think about you know the different what is your kung fu you know some people are wordsmiths and you know some people are video editors filmers different things like that but i think that it's very important to develop a kung fu for yourself you know the the main thing is the the work and discipline and it seems like an age old thing to where i don't know as as humans baby we try to like bypass the important stuff which is the work and the discipline and we're just like mm, yeah but hey <laughs> you know and so it is a it is a balance but i really want to really dive into what that feeling is you know that uncomfortable feeling of not doing the things that you're passionate about now let's just say that forget you know anything other than what it is that you currently are passionate about that you like that moves you now make that your kung fu especially during now like i know it is very difficult and this is coming from a capricorn <laughs> capricorn said um virgo mood libra said it look I understand as far as it seems to not make any sense to not do something as far as for a moment of time it's not saying as far as in general right now we are in uncertain times you know not in the way that it's just like oh my gosh it's gonna be an apocalypse um not like that what I'm saying is that there's a lot of people that I speak with that have a lot of time on their hands, you know, and this is a time I've seen it way too many times. That's why I'm currently doing this 90 day challenge. You know, this is a form of discipline and consistency as far as for me. And I just I've seen way too many examples of what consistency will do to get you out of a lot of different situations even during a pandemic even during a pandemic a lot of people physically cannot or will not return to work one because they're getting benefits that allows them to take care of their needs in their family so like they're good or two 
they don't want to be exposed to anything that's going on so they're put in a tight they're put in a tough situation now what's interesting is unlike other pandemics or anything that you know happened in the in the past that was crazy you know this is a time that we have the internet <laughs> we have the internet there is so many like i was explaining this uh in a video that i was doing yesterday and it was telling people who look at reaction videos or respond or explain videos think about this if you're if you become a fan of a tv show or a series um you're already investing that time now where these people win is because they put the work to make a video or make a podcast and then put it out but in that process somewhere there's like a sprinkle of perfectionism that and fear that keeps people from from doing but let me ask you something where has that gotten you in a time where you know some of us are put in a particular corner and we're forced i want to say force because it is a choice i mean i could sit here and just like i don't know i don't think i've been ever been able to just sit as far as not doing something i i may not be doing the right things you know uh or maybe like busy work and everything like that but it, it is very difficult for me to just not do anything like i at some point will end up like picking up a book or watching a, a video of some sort or looking at what needs to be done you know for my business or you know for my passions or different things like that and so it uh, that aspect's difficult for me you know but what i learn and what i'm continuing to progress at is you know, this doesn't have to be difficult. When you think about the 80-20 rule, you know, 20% of what it is that, that you're doing of actual work accounts for 80% of your revenue. So, you know, and a lot of times we have it backward. You know, we'll do like 80% of work to get 20% of revenue. And it's interesting. There's a lot of things that's like completely backwards, but I think if we start realizing that, okay, well, uh, in this world, you know, off means on, and you know, um, uh, <laughs> you know, all of these different things. I wouldn't say for everything, but just having an open mind about you know these particular type of things. Now ways to find peace in this unknown so i feel like one of the ways is finding your kung fu what can you you know develop within yourself that you're not worried about anything else because that's the trick as well is sometimes we'll get so caught up on the result or different things like that that it it becomes an issue so with me i'm really not looking at the results from 90 days of releasing a podcast my main thing is to develop the consistency and within that there there's going to be analytics there's going to be stuff for me to do what i like doing which is to dig into that but sometimes we like to do something for a little bit and then try to find like the the pattern or find the thing and it takes time it's it's over time you have to watch it over time to really understand what's going on and to really know whether or not something is actually working or not you know so one of the ways to find peace during this time would be to find your kung fu go ahead and really dive into that another way to find peace right now you know a lot of people are at home you know at home with their families or by themselves or 
with a friend or they have roommates house full of stuff you know this is a time where we need each other and i'm i'm saying this as far as like that i'm making sure i take this in as well you know i was talking to a friend you know the other day and she was saying how we were talking about the 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 whole six feet social distancing and your energetic field is about that same amount and you know even though we're needing to distance and different things like that there's still a lot of interaction that we need from each other you know so getting creative with this technology you know having the zoom calls like it's very interesting just for me i use a lot of this stuff for working so recording an interview or editing an interview from a client or different things like that but we don't have to use these things as just as work i mean this allows us to physically see yeah, I may not be able to, to touch you, you know, as far as physically, but we can at least see each other, you know. Um, so that would be another way, you know. Another way to find peace during this time is if you haven't spent a day doing completely nothing. But all the feelings, all the thoughts, and it and it is weird and it's heavy and different things like that but imagine imagine that was a giant shit <laughs> and you had to get it out like sometimes we'd be walking around just like stopped up you know and it's just all like why are you looking like that you know why are you walking like that it is because like you gotta take a shit and you're you're not like you're physically not not that you're constipated but you just like won't and you, you're like yeah but i gotta do this this and this like no you you're not gonna be able to do much if you don't uh, go you know release that joint um <laughs> So I know it's kind of, you know, weird example, but I that's kind of like exactly what goes on, though. So um, find your Kung Fu, you know, make sure that you're you're in touch with your friends or family and using this technology. Um, do absolutely nothing. And I'll do a fourth one. Uh, to keep the four energy that's going on. Uh, the fourth thing, as far as to find peace during the unknown times, um, is actually is weird enough. Um, I was gonna say go outside, but to be more really start taking that time for yourself and getting healthy. Like maybe you don't want to like do a bunch of exercises or anything like that. Look, I lost a hundred pounds and I was not killing it in the gym. I was doing work, you know, but again, this is the right type of work. A lot of times we'll overwork in other aspects, but really taking the time to, you know, really just sit, you know, check your breathing you know feel around you know tell your your body and yourself i love you body <laughs> you know it sounds weird but it's like um we're mainly made out of water and they have scientific proven studies that the way that you speak to water causes for the whole entire molecular setup to completely rearrange and change and when you speak something like negative or low vibration it looks all like scattered and whatever but when you talk you know life and positivity it almost looks like little snowflakes and different things like that you know so you know dive into some research what topics what things you know like i really it I understand why a lot of people are depressed right now. And maybe some people have already tried a lot of this stuff. And, you know, they're just all like, mm, you know, I'm, I'm good. I'm done. Let me say, even if you started all of this stuff at the beginning of the pandemic, 
it still would be you you want to continue doing it like you know maybe switch up a certain things but you know that's just what i've what i've done that that's helped me because yeah i mean there's times where you know i, I catch the news or some articles and i'm just all like mm-hmm. and then i grab some cbd and i'm just all like uh let me um let me reevaluate some things or whatever but it's so easy it, like it's it's so easy to get knocked off balance usually you're you're good on balance my my dad had to tell me this he was just like you're already balanced and i was all like yeah i'm trying to do it today he's like you're already balanced you know we got to stop letting people and things knock us off our balance we can respond and we can react without being knocked off balance and i think that that's uh for me it's like a, a fun thing to figure out and incorporate um so hopefully this helps you know leave a comment what is your kung fu and you know have you tried any of these four ways as far as being able to find peace during this time and you know leave a comment on ways that you uh, that i haven't spoke about that you're able to uh, find peace during this time you know so this is another episode of the composition bloop, 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 bloop. make sure you know i got t-shirts six different ones so i'm excited as far as for these t-shirts last time i physically had t-shirts was like 10 years ago <laughs> that was for my first release and everything like that i actually still have a couple of those t-shirts um but now i have six different ones make sure you know there's going to be a links that that uh, redirect you as far as to that um and then you know you can also go to dabshow.com forward slash shop i got services and i got different products you know different things as far as for entertainment you know uh, things to make you think um, and also different things to heal you you know I also offer services as far as tarot guidance readings as well um, so yeah I guess that's the reason why I've been reading this energy healer I, I, I you know I maybe looked at myself as a healer in some aspects but I, I guess the way that that's coming about is maybe a little bit different than I than I thought you know but yeah dabpro.com forward slash shop quantum containers volume one is out now so make sure you go to mrcomposition.com or mrcomposition.bandcamp.com to download that um what else face mask single still in rotation people still making tiktoks on it i need to do a part two of the compilation video for that and um yeah no thank y'all so much make sure to if you're listening to this on youtube hit the subscribe and like and if you're listening to this via a podcast platform make sure to add the composition to your 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 little uh playlist i would love to uh be next to some of the other things that you listen to and, and hopefully you know i can the composition can you know be a part of your daily routine or part of your uh, day so again thank you for tuning in listening in again this is mr composition peace